We have the second fastest growing population in the United States right now. We're having 44 new residents move to this area every single day. We have to get ahead of our transportation problems by advancing our 2030 transit plan. I'm in favor of a multimodal transit plan that includes bus rapid transit, light rail. I've been against the trolley streetcar for two major reasons. Number one, we're building a house with no income to support the mortgage for the house. And secondly, it breaks the trust of all the voters. The people that are participating in building out our bus system and our light rail are all of the taxpayers of the city of Charlotte, but also all of our six towns and counties. They're relying upon this Metropolitan Transit Commission, this governmental body or this quasi-governmental body that's intended to put regional priorities above the interest of the 800-pound gorilla, which is the city of Charlotte. Charlotte doesn't deserve to be exactly in the transit business, and that's exactly what we've done with the trolley streetcar. That's why I've objected to it. It's not because I don't want to connect East and West Charlotte. It's not because I don't want to see these corridors revitalized. I disagree with the method, and the really big thing, and I wish Mayor Fox would, or uh, Secretary Fox would talk about this, is where is the future of transportation going? Right now, I think the number one thing we need to be as a city is really flexible to the rapid changes that are occurring technologically mm -hmm. on what is occurring. Now, you ask, well, what could possibly be occurring here technologically? Well, you can look no further than the fact that we've become a Google Fiber City. Google wants to be in the transit business. They've talked about advancing forward on a driverless car, driverless pu public transit. They are advancing along with every other major car maker and trying to come up with the next chapter in transportation. Could that be a way that we could connect East and West Charlotte with an innovative bus rapid transit system that works off a high-tech model that's designed by Google or other companies like Time Warner Cable? I don't know. What I don't want to see happen in Charlotte is have us deliver 19th century technology to a 21st century economy and a 21st century transit plan, and especially putting 19th century technology that you can't pay for. Mm -hmm. That's not fiscally responsible. Again, I'm described as a fiscal conservative and a social moderate, but this is just not good government when you're proceeding forward where you don't know how you're going to build the next leg of your house. You don't know how you're going to pay for it. I'm asking somewhat of a redundant question kind of on the back of that, yeah. but for the here and now. You talked about some, some future possibilities based on technology yeah. for the here and now, yeah. the first year, your first, your first term. Yeah. In terms of expanding our transportation footprint, where would your focus be? Well, we have to focus on congestion relief. And right now, we can look, you, you can look no further than obviously the congestion that people are feeling coming into this city, which would be obviously the expressway of 74 coming in from Union County into Charlotte. And then you can look no further than those that are commuting from Mooresville and Huntersville, or Huntersville and Davidson and Cornelius. We've got massive congestion problems there. That's not something that a Charlotte mayor can address, but the Metropolitan Transit Commission is trying to do that, again, through bus rapid transit. Unfortunately, tolls being the last option, that is just something that obviously that we're now facing as a major metropolitan area are tolls. And, and obviously we now have got lesson one on how to not do it <laughs> is what's occurred here um, in this last episode or the current episode that is experiencing um, up in Huntersville and Cornelius. I look forward to reworking the 2030 transit plan because we know that a lot of things have changed in the last 30 years. We have to look at what funding is possible, what federal grants there are, how the state and the region play into that. We know that we want to have lines that go into Iredell County, that go into Cabarrus County, and if we look at a regional base, then there is more potential for leveraging some of those, um, some of those government resources with private resources to make it happen. Uh, what I'm hearing, and you correct me if I'm wrong, is that uh, if there were a priority for the, the transportation footprint from your perspective, it would be some of those permanent lines, but that would go even outside of the city? Well, the priority is to build out the plan, um, to adapt the plan to our changing environment, but to build out the plan so that we're serving every sector of our city. And some of those corridors, those commuting corridors, it does make sense to go into counties next to us. I'm not sure that that extension is the priority because we still have some needs with the east and west side of Charlotte and we still have some needs um, that, are, that are within the city boundaries, but we have to start the conversation in the region. We have to look to the future. This is a long-term plan. This is not going to be a transit plan that will be finished in the next decade. It's going to take longer than that. But we have to be building those alliances. We have to be building that vision and that plan for the future.